If you are making a presentation or a YouTube video, a good animation always helps to make things interesting. Keynote is a very simple but powerful tool to make good animations. These animations can be on texts or on images and to take advantage of them, you have to know the basics well. Before going deeper let me show a small example of how simple animation helps. In a couple of my videos, I have integrated some animation using Keynote. Those videos performed very well in audience retention compared to other videos. Let's now see how you can take advantage of the animation of Keynote. I will delete all these texts from this slide and will apply animation to some shapes. I am using available shapes in Keynote but you can also import external images. The animation basics I discuss in this video are also applicable to texts. I am showing these with shapes so it is more visible to you what it is doing. I will increase and adjust the size of these shapes to make them more visible. I will choose another shape for transport. Later you will see this vehicle moving from one place to another and it will give you some creative animation ideas. You can also change the colors of these shapes to make them more visible. Let's choose a different color for this shape. I will also change the color of this frame. A blue color will be nice for this frame I guess. This blue color is a bit deep, let's choose a lighter color. I think this will work fine. So we have three elements in this slide and no animation to it. If we view it in presentation mode we see all the elements are present at once. A nice idea would be to add some animation to each of these shapes. To add animation to an element, select it and click on Animate. You can add animation to an element in three phases or in three stages. Build in means how it will appear for the first time in the presentation. Through action or build out, you can add additional animation to that element after it appears. You will see that in a moment, first let's add an animation to this element for build in. Let's choose drop animation. For each animation, you can configure some settings, for example, duration. It will take one second for this animation to complete and you can increase or decrease the duration. Let's add another animation for this frame element. I will choose to fly in for this and it will animate during build in. When you add an effect to an element an order number appears for that animation. For example, here order is 1. Here order is 2 and the animations will appear in this order. You can also see some more details of the order through the build order button at the bottom. Select an item in this pop-up and you will see where it is. This is really handy when you are building something with lots of effects and you can easily track which animation is appearing and on which elements. You can also specify when or how the animation will appear. Normally it appears after you click but it can be set to appear after another animation is complete or when another animation is starting. It is a very useful feature and we will see that in a moment. Let's check this in presentation mode to see how it is looking now. At the start, only the vehicle is present because we have not added any effect on this element. After the first click, the red cylinder will appear. With the second click, the frame appears. This was the most basic animation we can apply from Keynote. Now we will add some other effects to make it lively. Let's add an effect to this shape on the action stage. Action means the effect will appear after a certain action is complete. A click can be an action or some other animation that has been completed can be an action. I will add move as the effect. You can adjust the duration where it will be moved and how the move acceleration will be done. You can add multiple actions to an element. So action is basically the way to add some more animation after the element appears. You can see where it will be moved and I will drag it to the final position. You can check the build order to see if the order is correct. The order is correct but I want the move to appear after the fly-in animation. So I select after build 2 and added some delay. This delay is the waiting time after the build 2 animation is complete. Delay 0 means starting the animation as soon as the previous animation is done. I want the fly-in animation to start as soon as the first animation is done. I will select after build 1 and keep the delay to 0 seconds for immediate start. You can preview your animation from here without going to presentation mode.
It seems the cylinder move started too quickly so I will increase the delay time. Also, I will increase the duration of the move animation a bit. Let's preview from here. Let's check the presentation to have a better view. Another kind of animation can be added when the element disappears through the build out. Let's add an effect for the cylinder to build out. You can preview the animation without applying it. Fade and move seem nice, let's add it. Once again, you can check the build order pop up to see if everything is okay. I will keep the cylinder build out on click, but as like before, it can be tied with other animations. Let's check through the presentation. The cylinder will disappear with fade and move animation once I click. So far we have seen animation on the elements of a slide. Keynote has another type of animation which is applied from slide to slide and used for advanced animations. You have to duplicate a slide first with command D. So two slides will be copies of each other and apply magic move to the first slide. Remember this animation has to be applied on the whole slide, not in the elements of the slide we did before. Then in the second slide make some changes. I will set a different position for this van. There has to be at least a common element in both those slides. The cylinder disappears at the end of the first slide, so I will delete it from here. I will keep the frame as it is and the frame is the unchanged element on both slides. Let's start the presentation. The first slide animations are appearing the same way before and it will be interesting how the second slide appears. Now the second slide will appear. The van has moved nicely but an issue with the frame. It is disappearing and then appears after the end of the vehicle animation. Let's fix this issue so the frame does not disappear at the start of the second slide. Select the frame in the second slide. The frame also has the build-in effect in the second slide and that is causing the disappearance issue. I will change this to none and the issue will be fixed. Let's check the presentation. Now we will move to the second slide and the frame should stay in the same place. It worked nicely. So this was the basics of keynote animation and I suggest you practice a bit. Once you understand the concepts of build-in, action, and build-out, you will be able to make pretty good animations. Keynote is free on Mac and with some practice, you can take full advantage of it. Thanks for watching and see you next. My channel has lots of videos on audio editing, video editing, and the general use of useful software. Please check those and I hope you will find some good videos there.